What's up everyone, in this video we're going to be going over the top three common misconceptions when it comes to ticket flipping. These are things that are totally not true. People come up with these bizarre ideas and they're totally false, but uh, we're going to be going over some of them in today's video. So first up, uh, this is probably the most common one you see all the time, is that you need a lot of money to do this. This is not true whatsoever. You can always start very, very small, build up over time, start with inexpensive tickets. This could be just one pair of tickets or two or three, and you know, build up over time, build gradually. You don't have to rush this. You don't have to uh, try to make it happen in one day, two days, overnight. Um, this could be done, you know, over time gradually, and uh, you know that's the best way to do it. There is no such thing as get rich quick. There's no magic money machine that's going to make you a millionaire overnight. Uh, so it's something that does take time. You're going to build it up gradually, uh, depending on your budget. You know, you can get there faster than others, but uh, starting small, there's nothing wrong with that. People do it all the time. Next up, another common misconception is that you need to ship the tickets or stand outside in front of the venues. Uh, this is not true whatsoever. As you know, it's all done online digitally. They're digital tickets. You don't have to ship or handle anything. Um, it's all digital files that are you know, handled online. And there's nothing to actually hand someone or ship someone. So you know, if you are in your bed or a couch, this works for you. If you're at work, it works for you. This could be done from your phone, your tablet, your computer. Um, what's also great, and a lot of people are starting to do this now, uh, there are people that are disabled out there or wheelchair bound and they're not able to work or um, you know they had an injury or an accident and they're not able to work. So people are turning to ticket flipping because it's something that can be done uh, you know, right from your couch or bed, like I said. Uh, you don't have to go outside, you don't, you don't go outside, you don't have to drive anywhere, you don't have to walk anywhere, you don't have to go to any windows or anything. It's all done online, all done from your smart device. So uh, if you also, if you know someone that is, uh, you know, disabled or had an injury, an accident, and not able to work, you can also recommend it to them as well. So uh, that's something to think about. And this is another common one is that you need some kind of special skills or talent. This is not true whatsoever. You do not need any skills or talent. You can do this business regardless of your background, where you came from, socioeconomic status, your creed, race, religion, does not matter. Uh, you know, you don't need any special skills that would require speaking to someone or require, you know, selling to someone or trying to make a presentation. You know, none of that is needed. You don't need some kind of uh, special hands or eyes that you have to watch and monitor things on your computer all day. None of that's needed. And another big thing is there's no gurus. That's a, that's a, this should be a, a fourth one, actually. It's a whole conversation in and of itself. But uh, there's no gurus in this business. Just because someone is selling more tickets than you or has a larger budget doesn't mean that they get you know, better placement on StubHub to sell their tickets. There's no gurus or you know, one man at the top. Uh, everyone has equal chance at uh, selling their tickets. There's, um, you know, we're all in this together. There's not really anything like that. So uh, no gurus in this, no, t no skills, no talent needed. So these are some common misconceptions. If you have, uh, you know, any more questions or, you know, you actually have something that you might think is a misconception, feel free to comment below and ask below. Uh, we'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible and uh, we'll, we'll address your question or concern. So uh, feel free to comment below if you have any questions and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. See you in the next video.